One summer day, a seven-year-old girl named Barissa decided to have a picnic at the beach. Barissa and her best friend kitten Jeannie got to the beach together and set the food, drinks, and the plates on top of the red and pink beach blanket. Barissa started to eat her cheese sandwich, and Jeannie ate a fish. But then they both realized that they had lots of food. They each looked around to see if they could invite anyone to join them. But they only found their classmate, Runner the Pony. They both waved at Runner the Pony, who came to their picnic area. We have lots of food, but no one to share it with, Barissa said to Runner the Pony. Can you please invite all of our friends and see if any of them would like to join us here at the beach and have some fun? Sure, since I run very fast, I can look and bring some of our friends back with me, Runner the Pony replied. After a short time, Barissa saw all her friends, with Runner the Pony coming towards her. She spotted Maxie the Lion Cub, Furball the Monkey, Pinky the Bunny, Oscar the Kangaroo, Billy the Squirrel, Leora the Bear, Runner the Armadillo, Lily the Puppy, and Snorkel the Dolphin. Barissa was very happy and asked her friends to help themselves to the food. Suddenly, Leora the Bear yelled, Look, a shark! And it's coming our way! They all were afraid to see a shark's fin swimming towards them. But before they could even start packing the food, the shark jumped in the ocean. And everyone laughed. It was their friend, Jumpy the Shark. After lunch, they all started to play hide-and-seek. First, it was Maxie the Lion's turn to seek everyone. But Furball the Monkey saw Maxie peeking through her paws. Furball the Monkey shouted to everyone, Maxie is cheating! Maxie was so embarrassed and ashamed that she started to cry and explain. I am sorry. I feel a bit tired, and I could not say no to playing the game with everyone. I peeked so I could see where everyone was, so I could find them faster. Barissa and all her friends felt bad and told Maxie that it did not matter or not if she played the game with them or rested on the side. You are still our friend, and we would not have thought bad of you, Barissa said. So then it was decided that Maxie the lion would keep her eye on everyone while resting, so no one could go too far, and she would tell them all when it was time to go home.